to this day, Chester Weaker, the so-called starved rock killer, has maintained his innocence. And nearly 60 years later, he's about to go free tomorrow. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar shows us where he's heading. The innocence of birds chirping outside Chicago's St. Leonard's Ministries will soon greet Chester Weger, who confessed to killing three women at Starved Rock in 1960. They were visiting from suburban Riverside to hike and, of all things, bird watch. Did you kill these women? No. You did not? No, sir. I, I've, I've denied it all the time. Esteemed former CBS2 reporter John the Bulldog Drummond sat across from Weger at least four times over the years. I've been here uh, almost 21 years. And uh, it hurt me when I first came here, but I'm past that state. I spent the uh, best years of my life here. Why should I feel remorse because I never killed them? I mean, I, I feel sorry for the people being dead, but I'm not going to uh, admit that I've done something I've never done. I think it was inevitable that he would be released. Drummond's weathered notepad and sharp memory provide context into the complex character of Uyghur, now almost 81 years old. At the time, the murders made national headlines. He claims he's innocent, had nothing to do with the murder of those three women. Uyghur, a dishwasher at the state park, says he was forced to confess to the killings. Deputy uh, had a confession already drawn up, and uh, he threatened me with a pistol. He told me he says, uh, you either sign a confession or I'll, I'll kill you and say that you tried to escape. Along with the confession, evidence like the rope used to tie the women up matched the same twine used in the kitchen Uyghur worked in. He even took reporters and police to the spot of the murders and described what happened. He's older now and you feel, you feel, geez, give this guy a break. I can see why the parole board did just that. Uyghur granted parole last fall despite pleas over the years from the victim's family to keep him locked up. The loss of my mother was the worst event in my life. Six decades later, Uyghur will live out his remaining days a free man, starting here. It did come now full circle. He's finally out. There is no time frame for how long residents can stay here at St. Leonard's, and that will be the case for Uyghur as well. And for a man who hasn't had his freedom in 60 years, there will certainly be some adjusting on the near west side. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. We spoke with the executive director at St. Leonard's who says Uyghur applied for the program and adds there are very few circumstances where they will turn someone away.